And so Steve Dawson's up next. Steve, as we said at the outset, is, is the founder of St. Paul Street Evangelization. And uh, we've had him on at Home with Jim and Joy a number of times. He's well known to the EWTN family. And uh, he, he mobilizes people. He equips people to do the work of the ministry, to do, to do the work of evangelization. He has many principles that he's learned that can be very dear and helpful to us as media missionaries and individually. And so I just can't wait to hear you, Steve, and uh, just be free in the spirit to share however you want to. You go right ahead, brother. Amen. What a powerful prayer. Thank you so much, Jim. And thank, thank you, everybody, all you missionaries out there, from one missionary to, to you as missionaries of the eternal word. Um, so excited to, to partner with EWTN. EWTN was so powerful in my own conversion. I had a very powerful conversion about 15 years ago. I went from a drug dealer and getting arrested. I don't know how many times I've been arrested, to be honest. Um, but I was a bad guy, you know, I was bad news and, uh, to a powerful conversion. I, I remember I would, um, just a quick, uh, story. I would, I was watching EWTN getting drunk, uh, before my conversion. And I said, you know, this sounds right. And, uh, you know, maybe I'm gonna, you should believe this. And then I drank another drink. And then eventually though, I was converted and EWTN, was very powerful in that. Maybe that was too much information, but uh, I do have to say that EWTN, I love being partnered with EWTN, been on so many of the different shows from Life on the Rock to Jim and Joy and Church Universal, et cetera, et cetera. So you guys are doing the work on the ground and, um, and I'm a street evangelist. Uh, I go out into the streets, but we also at St. Paul Street Evangelization, not only do we do the work of street evangelization, but we also train and equip uh, ordinary Catholics to evangelize in their everyday life and through um, online training, in-person training. We train deacons, we train seminarians all throughout the country. And I was praying because I only have five minutes here now, really four minutes. Uh, uh, left. And so, as I'm sure most of you know, it's harder to give a, a really short talk uh, on any subject than, you know, I could easily give you a two-hour talk. Um, but, you know, ask me to speak for five minutes and, and it's, it's difficult. So I was asking the Lord, what do you want me to talk about this five minutes? And I got the word urgency, okay? So I'm going to give you a couple tips for evangelization, but first I just want to talk to you about urgency. Uh, in this time of, of Advent, going into Christmas, um, we, uh, Jesus came to earth. We, we reflect on the fact that Jesus became man. Um, this, the second person of the Holy Trinity became man for our salvation and the salvation of the whole world. And this message is urgent. It's the most important message there is that ever was or ever will be. Because we're sinners. The human race turned its back on God, and, and we've separated ourselves from him. And there's nothing we can do to restore our relationship with God. And, and, but God loves us. He didn't want to leave us separated from him eternally. Um, and so he became man. He died for our sins, and he showed us the way. He founded a church, and he teaches us how we need to live, and what we need to do for eternal salvation. And that's what it's all about. The church exists to evangelize for the salvation of souls. So I think today in the, in the church, um, a, a lot we forget that this is all about the salvation of souls. It's easy to kind of, um, in the work of evangelization, to forget that main foundational point, that this that the work of evangelization, whether it be evangelizing our friends or family members or people in church uh, or, or even random people that we meet on the streets or in the grocery store, that, that God wants all men to be saved. He wants to do it through the Catholic Church and through you in the Catholic Church. Okay, so all the great uh, missionaries throughout the history had a zeal for souls, for the salvation of souls. 
they understood that that's why Jesus came and we're to be part of that. And so if we want to be successful evangelists, that's always kind of got to be kind of, we got to be developing um, that zeal for souls. And there's so many different ways to do this. Reflect on the Gospels, read of uh, the great missionary saints and their urgency in evangelization. But um, but yes, this is this is key. This is what I think the Lord wanted me to say. And with the last minute that I have here, um, I just want to say, with this urgency, don't be afraid. Be not afraid to talk to people. Uh, talk to people in your family. Do it with love. Do it with charity. We say we have a listen, befriend, in, uh, invite, and proclaim model. Proclaim, invite. So it's real easy. Listen to people. Know that. Uh, let them know that they're they're loved and that you care. Okay. Befriend. Start obvi uh, intentional friendships uh, and be um, just be loving to them. Befriend them in love. Befriend people in love. Proclaim the gospel. Do this through your own personal testimony. You don't have to be preachy. You might just say to to one of your you know someone at church or well not not really a church, right? But uh, uh, a family member, hey, can I tell you why I love going to church? Can I tell you why I love the Catholic faith? Or if you're at church, can I tell you why I love being a EWTN media missionary? Try to evangelize people by getting other evangelists. And invite, make an invitation. There's a study I read, and something like 80% uh, in a poll, a survey, said uh, that if... The people who didn't go to church, 80% said if a friend or somebody they, they knew or respected invited them to go to church, they would consider it. So, you know, you guys at the Media Missionaries, you make invitations, watch EWTN, um, but we can also invite family members as well. And, and if you're interested in doing uh, street evangelization or just general learning more about evangelization, we have an evangelization online evangelization school where we can get into each one of these um, little tips in much deeper fashion. And I just want to say again, thank you, Carlos. Thank you, Jim, uh, for and thank you, Media Missionaries, because the the work that you're doing is so important. And if if we don't do it, who's going to do it? So it's got to be us. Amen. Amen.